The National Green Tribunal has ordered that the national capital will not register new diesel vehicles. NGT has also directed the central and state government departments not to purchase any diesel vehicles. This move comes after the Delhi government announced the odd even plan to control Delhi's air pollution crisis. My colleague Deepa Rana gets us this report with the details of the NGT order. Take a look. An NGT order has tracked a whip on the diesel vehicles uh, in Delhi. Also, it is not going to affect the private owners for now, but for later maybe. The order says that the central government and the Delhi government cannot buy diesel vehicles. In fact, the re-registration of diesel vehicles over 10 years is going to be completely phased out. So we might not see diesel vehicles anymore on the roads of Delhi. The, the Supreme Court is going to hear a petition on December 15 seeking a ban on the diesel vehicles in Delhi and other cities as well. Our sister channel Times Now's Aditya Call caught up with the NGT lawyer Balendu Shekhar earlier today to find out more about this landmark verdict. Listening. For deterioration of environmental condition in Delhi, there are prime three reasons. Number one is vehicular pollution, number two is garbage burning, and number three is the building material, stock of building material on roads and all these places. So, uh, regarding vehicular pollution, of course, we have already seen that just uh, just a few days back, Delhi government has announced about the idea of odd and even uh, vehicle. Right. So, about that aspect, NGT asked that, of course, that that policy is, uh, we can say that that is a really laudable policy and uh, ought to be appreciated. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, whether this policy itself is complete in nature, whether it will sustain on its own, mm -hmm. and what other measures which you are going to take to corroborate and to assist this policy to get it implemented in a proper and effective measures. One last question, sir. You know, even the Supreme Court has said that it will contemplate on 15th of January whether or not there could be a ban or some, if the diesel vehicles can be moved out from the national capital, if that that needs to be decided. Has NGT really formed an opinion on that or is, is are the pleas really pending? About this, NGT has time and again said all the government agency that all those diesel, ve diesel vehicles which are more than 15 or 10 years old, you, uh, you all should formulate a kind of policy whereby you can phase out all those diesel vehicles. So regarding that aspect, NGT is serious and NGT is keen to know the response from various departments that how they are going to remove all these vehicles from their department. And to take that further, we are being joined on the phone line live by Anumita Roy Chaudhary, Executive Director of the Centre for Science and Environment. Anumita, thank you so much for joining us here live on the news on Magic Bricks. Now, talk to us. The NGT order sounds like a pretty drastic step. Uh, according to you, how much will this help in cleaning up uh, Delhi's air? Yeah, it's a very important move. Keep in mind the fact that under the current emission standards, diesel cars are legally allowed to emit three times more nitrogen oxide and five times more particulate matter, which are the pollutants of concern in Delhi's air today. More than that, if you know that the WHO has reclassified diesel emissions as class one carcinogen, putting it in the same category as tobacco smoking for a strong link with lung cancer. Now, knowing all this, it is absolutely wrong that the rich car owner should take advantage of low tax diesel, which is taxed low because of agriculture and freight. But we should not take advantage of that and dieselize and contribute to the health risk. Keep in mind today, a two-wheeler owner pays more tax per liter of petrol that he uses than an SUV owner who pays much less tax but diesel that it uses. It's a revenue loss, it's a health loss, and it's a huge health cost to the nation. So it's important to control digitalization at a time when the emission standards in India are lagging behind. They are more than 10 years to 15 years behind Europe. So quickly, therefore, we would say that while we should control diesel cars, at the same time, we should clean up diesel for the other users, like trucks, buses, and other commercial applications. Mita, this comes on the heels of the Delhi government's odd even order. Now, are we doing enough or is it a case of a too little too late? It is late, but the fact that they have started, now the, the momentum should build up. Odd and even number will have to be looked at as an emergency action. These are the kind of action that we take when the pollution levels peak and go up very high and you need immediate action to bring down the peak level. Now, it is important to restrain car numbers on Delhi's road. And if we put the heat on the car, only then the template for public transport reforms will 
begin to build momentum. And therefore, what we'll see that let's take the odd and even number, let's support it to help Delhi government to come up with a very clear plan on how are they going to reform public transport, give people the alternative so that you can have more lasting solutions in the city. Um, Anumita, before we let you go, you know, Delhi's pollution is largely linked to the high dust content uh, which acts as a carrier for uh, pollutants. Uh, what do you think can be done to address uh, that particular issue? There are different sources of dust today. One is the road dust. And for that, you have several measures. You can sweep the road, sprinkle, but at the same time take lot of vegetation, you can have lot of vegetation and design your road in a way that you can minimize dust and also slow down the traffic, which can lead to the suspended dust. At the same time, there is construction dust. Now, it is very important to keep in mind that we will have to make the dust control absolutely mandatory for all construction. But keep in mind the fact that the construction and demolition waste is also a resource. So if the government pushes towards recycling of construction and demolition waste, we will be able to minimize dust from construction site. So there are there are solutions, but we will now have to build support for the solution so that they can get implemented. Now the time, we must not look for problems for solution, but it is really the time to push for the solution and build public support for it. Anamita Rai Chaudhary, Executive Director at the Center for Science and Environment, thank you so much for joining us here with your perspectives on the news on Magic Bricks Now.